Houston. Hi, welcome to Venus Perspectives. I'm Barb Olson. Tonight we have with us Lisa Berkshire, Joanna Stanulin. Yes. And Mel Trubeau. Trubeau Beach. <laughs> Trubeau Beach. Level five. And they're going to play some music for us a little later. So welcome to the show. It's good to have you guys. We're glad Thanks. to be here. So how would you describe your music? Um, I have oh. a... Okay, go. It's kind of alternative, but it's got kind of like the female rock or like alternative or kind of in some songs pop feeling. So it's very hard for me to try to leave it. It's basically the biggest genre of your life. Oh. Um, you can really, I think you can put anything to it. It's not like hardcore, so I think anybody could listen to it. I think it's kind of, I wouldn't say like easy listening, but I don't. I wouldn't say it's anything out there. It's kind of, I guess it's alternative. Cool. And you guys, I have to say, you look like you're like 12, so. <laughs> That's what we get <laughs> But I time. figure that when I'm 30, I'll be looking really good. And when so I'm 60, I'm not worried maybe I'll that. look 18. So how old are you? I'm 20. I'm 18. So you're not even drinking age yet? No. no four not months yet. away, though, and counting down the days. Not in America. <laughs> Anyways. Not in America. And tell me, um, where'd you get your shoes? These are from Charlotte Roos. <laughs> Fredericks of Hollywood? I am like the shop. shopper for the group, I guess. Bas yeah. Basically, I like spending I'm, money, she doesn't. I but am. These are actually Jessica Simpson's shoes. I, stayed, I spent a lot of money on them. Very cool. That's a secret. Very cool. Yeah, no, she's the shopper between the both of us because she has a fetish with shopping and spending, yeah. and I don't at all. I actually get driven insane if I'm in a store for too long. It's a good balance. So. We take care of each other. She has a fetish. Any other fetishes we should know about? <laughs> I like Nutella. <laughs> and I like I don't know about the fetishes a lot. What's the Nutella? Nutella? You never had Nutella? Oh my god. Okay, go home today, <laughs> buy some Nutella, get chocolate. some strawberries. Is it beer? Put chocolate the spread. No, it's chocolate. It's chocolate strawberry. almond spread. With amazing. the slightest hint of almond, but it's generally chocolate. It's like melted down chocolate, okay. and you can put it on anything you want <laughs> at all. Like, name your favorite food. Beer. Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. You have to try it. But I promise easy. it works. Not that I would know. Okay. And so, can I ask, are, are you guys virgins? or? Uh, <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny this statement. Well, I heard one of your songs. Yeah, oh. Jimmy's studio, Planet 10. Oh. Palatine? You know what? That song, actually, I know what it Wait, who, like. who wrote the song? I wrote the this song. This one. Okay. Mm. I was listening. Because it starts out really nice and sweet. Yeah. It's a beautiful, like, lilting right. little song. Um, Tell me some of the lyrics. I did play it for my mom. You did? I told her it was an inappropriate song, but I played her the edited version. Okay. Where instead of You can basically stick anything into instead of, those. instead of a certain adjective, I said, kiss me. Obviously, in replacement, because I don't think my mom wants to hear that. But I was I listening. Any mom does. I was listening to Tenacious D, and they have a song called. Can I say that? I don't think I can say. Screw her gently, basically. Yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> um, and I was listening to it, and I'm like, how come a guy can write a song like this, and I think a girl should be able to, and it should be kind of funny and misleading, and so I wrote it. It was. I I was <laughs> laughing. So that's why I wrote it. It was just. Just kind tell me, idea. like, the fir what's the first couple lines of the song? Um, you pick me up in your brand new car. I can tell that you've never been really far with a girl like me. It's sweet understandable. Sweet and innocent. Very sweet and innocent. I'm crazy and unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the yeah. chorus. No. You can Not kiss me right. slowly, kiss me fast. Kiss me till you think I can't even last. With your lips on me. Another minute. <laughs> oh yeah, another minute with your lips on me. It's exciting because you're crazy about me. <laughs> it's just an innocent love song, you guys. I really what think you should do that song for tonight. Can, can I do the edited version? You can do the edited Okay, that's good. Then that's we, fine. All right. I have no problems with that. I'll do that song. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys... I think Michael Jackson died. Did you hear that? Oh my yeah. God! She we cried. actually, I, I cried. Oh, were you a fan of his? Yeah, yeah, I definitely was. And Joanna's not a strong feeling about him because of his I personal just, past. Well, I pedophile. Mean, okay, What's no, wrong not, with not even that. Though. Not even that. But just, I mean, I didn't know him personally. I just <laughs> don't. I don't really feel like it's hard for me to feel bad because everyone yeah. gets their time, and this is his time. Yeah, I think yeah. it's just a shame because he was 
the greatest. I mean, a on the other hand, musician. now Justin Timberlake can truly be the king of pop. So I mean, it just—it's like. And a, then there's other people who just love Prince, or it's true. We a producer and happens to. I don't really have a favorite. Like she she was more conservative than I was. Yeah, I was. Elton John. It's, my it's friend texted me Elton being John. like, Michael Jackson's dead, and I my jaw dropped, and I was like. Joanna. I didn't believe it actually. Something I didn't believe terrible. it because I was like, no. He's only 50 years yeah, old, I think. Not, I mean, yeah, he's relatively healthy. Health cardiac arrest. And, you know, some of us in this room are 50 years old, you know. My like, parents are 50, so. Joanna yeah. and I. I don't know and if they Farrah Fawcett died, died right at the same time, time as well. Right. And Farrah so. Fawcett died too. Yeah, she, she did. She I knew about that. Yeah. It's unfortunate. And what about John and Kate plus eight? Did you guys watch that at all? Yeah, I actually I watched the one where they what's, announced their divorce. What's your opinion about that? Um, apparently their commitment to the show is more important than their <laughs> commitment to their mate to God. Because they're still continuing the show, but they won't take time off to... Uh, actually, I think the show is on hiatus now, I think. Is it? That's the way guys. They're going to be doing um, tapings, I heard, like separately, one with one parent. Have you seen that show? I haven't seen it. Oh, I haven't seen all the publicity. I'm just guessing here. I'm like, yeah, totally. I, I exactly think Kate was a bitch. It's just, what I are you going to do with all those bitch. kids? I mean, no. sell them. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> Black market. You know, it's, I'm just, I'm not really worried about their personal lives. I'm more worried about what's, what are they, like, they're already on national TV, and right. now their parents are going through a divorce. Right. I can't wait to see the finished product. Yeah, it's kind of sad. What are they, the kids going to do when the cameras go away? You know, it's like, yeah, they're going to feel neglected. How are they going to live or, their lives? Right. Yeah. It's so probably going to be like a very, very big void to fill without having people that are complete strangers in your life. Or just getting filmed all the time. Yeah. 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 You know? They're really strange. Yeah. Why isn't anybody watching me? So. Yeah. <laughs>